So we are successfully fetching posts from our database, but it's not really useful at the moment. If I visit the slash feed, we discover that yes, we are having the feed of the user, but one thing we are not having is the user who created that particular post. Okay, so what we would like to do is introduce eager loading. Okay, so this is one of uh, the powerful features that Lavos ORM provides for us. So we want to get the user who created this post automatically as soon as we load the post from the database. Okay, so how's this gonna look like? We just need to declare on a user.php which relationships are going to be eager, eagerly loaded. Okay, so I'll go ahead and say public and I'll define a with method. And this is gonna be an array and uh, we're just gonna say we want the user relationship right here to be eagerly loaded so that anytime we fetch a post from the database it also attaches the user who created that post so if i refresh we discover that there we have the the object of the user who created that post okay so next thing i want to take care of is this avatar right here so we discover that this is not really going to be helpful in our Vue.js component because what we need is the full path to display the user's image okay and the one thing that can really help us in this case is our accessor okay so we can create an accessor for the the avatars attribute on our user.php and every time this user is fetched from the database it's going to give us the full path to the user's avatar okay so it's gonna give us something like what we have right here if i go ahead and show you the view source we discover that right here we have the link to that user's image so this something like this would be helpful in this situation okay so how do we do this we'll just create an accessor and accessors are simply methods that are going to mutate that are going to change data as soon as they get out of our database okay so how do we create accessors we'll just say public function and the convention is a get and then the name of the field in the database and we attach attributes so get avatar attribute and this is going to receive the avatar that we are trying to mutate and we'll just return storage and we'll return the url from storage of the avatar okay yeah but this is not really going to help us because we don't have the full path of the domain so we are going to wrap this in our assets method which is going to give us the full path depending on if it's http or https it's going to also take care of that and uh, we need to import the storage facade right here okay so let's go ahead and look at that and see the changes that we receive if i go ahead to my feed and i refresh we discover that now we're receiving the full path to that image okay so if you see we click we get right to the image okay so this is what we want in our view component so that we'll be able to do that but one last thing if i go over to my profile right here okay my image is broken and if i inspect you discover that that's because it can't find this path right here so what we're gonna do is actually edit the way we are displaying our image in our profile that blade that php okay so we will no longer need this all we just need to is echo the avatar because everything has already been taken care of by our assessor so if we refresh that should work perfectly okay so everything's working now and we are going to be able to use our avatar view more efficiently in our view component 